welcome back to the rest of the story. This is going to be the last video I do like this for a while, but this is too good to turn up. I'm actually sitting in a John Deere 8370R up at the local John Deere dealership. And I couldn't help but hop up in and do a quick review on it, or overview of it. Now, people who have watched my channel in the past know very much that I do would, would like to actually upgrade from the 8230 to something with more horsepower. And to contradict myself, I've also said that I would actually like to, would really consider going to like a four-wheel drive. But on the other end of the spectrum, as far as the 8Rs go, the 8235R that we have is the smallest 8R series of that series. It's a 2012 model, and I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not sure what year, oh, well I got a little cheat sheet here. This is a 2015 8370R. Um, I'm not sure if they make 83, if there's an 8380R out yet. It really very well could be. I'm not keeping track of all the new and new John Deere tractor numbers. But this tractor I'm sitting in, here's a quick overview. It's got the leather package in it, so the steering wheel, the seats, the buddy seat, it's all got leather on it. This does have the larger display. This is actually a premium cab, active seat. It's got the 85 gallon per minute pump, five SCVs, duals all the way around. Uh, it's got a ra the radar, business band antenna, 12 front weights, and a warranty until 2017. Oh, well, it's got a warranty to the end of this year. But, um, yeah, with only a 1100 hours on it I'll get out and do a walk around on it. This machine is actually pretty nice. This came from a big grain operator down south of here. Uh, he, I believe they said that they ran 50,000 acres so he really didn't go into detail about the operation it came from but I wouldn't be too overly surprised that it's one of those things where they ran it for a year or two and then traded it off or send it back on its lease Seems how this is a 2015 model. It could very well have been on like a three year lease and then they swapped it out for a new one. But for those bigger operators, that's probably the better route to go than trying to operate something like this and run it for eight to 10,000 hours. But this does have the ILS in it. I think it goes hand in hand with the IVT. Um, it's supposed to offer a, a really smooth ride. It does have IVT in it as far as the transmission goes. Myself, I really like IVT. But you can see compared to the R8235R, this has a bigger monitor on it and this is actually touch screen compared to the 82s. And um, we got all these buttons down through here. And I honestly, I'm not really familiar with everything it has. It's a little fancier than our 82, but myself, if the opportunity arose where I could upgrade to something like this, a 300 horse plus tractor is definitely on my mind as far as the next tractor I want to get if, when, if and when we get rid of the 8235. I don't see us running the 82 for 20 years. I'm thinking maybe 10 at the most and then updating. but. That swivel seat's pretty nice. But this is it for the cab. Let me hop out and I'll do a walk around. But you gotta appreciate, this is no different, the cab size is no different than our 8235. And me stretching my foot all the way out, I can just hardly hit the window. That goes back to that whole comfort thing when you're operating this stuff because I've said just recently that we have no tillage done and it's getting to the time of year where when we do decide to start running the acres through and I just open the door again 
when we start running the acres through, where 14, 16 hour days are going to be pretty common, depending on the kind of weather pressure we have going forward. The front tires on this are actually a little narrower than, well, let me take that back. They're not narrower, they're just, they're widened out more than our 82s. You can say both our front and rear duals on our 8235R are spaced pretty uh, tight together. Something else we don't have to deal with yet is def. Granted, not crazy about having to start keeping track of def, but um, when the time comes, we'll just deal with it. Oh, but um, you can see here on the back end, these tractors, the bigger they get, they're built for heavy work. It's got the larger drawbar on it. I believe that's category four. It's got the ooh, heavy duty pin. But it does actually need a little bit of a bath. I actually just came back from a lease or a rent. A farmer just had it and he said that the guy really liked it because it had an IVT on it and everything. It would, rides a little smoother than his 8235. It sounds to me like he had the same same 82 that we have actually but looks like it's got the light package on it too myself I kind of like having the full set of weights in the front it is weighted down fairly heavy the tractor itself even without any extra weights it's it's gonna keep the weight to the ground now for those of you that really haven't been watching or maybe new viewers Something like this would be used for a grain cart and heavy, heavily used for tillage. And hydrus, as of last year, we'd be using it for an hydrus. And if I could find like a five shank ripper of sorts, it would be pulling a ripper. That ripper we had last year wasn't built heavy, heavy enough for even our 82, and it was showing some failing. But here's a quick overview. A rundown of I know she's sharp I wish I could afford it right now but it's not in the cards someday so yeah I know I just did one of these a little while ago but I couldn't couldn't resist because this right here is actually my ideal tillage tractor if I could update the 82 right now. So, with that, thanks for watching. Take care. Take it easy. Keep in touch.